So another technique I'm trying is basically I'm just taking some plants, soaking them in hot water to get them really soft and flat and then I'm laying them in the, tr in the trays and then pouring the plaster over the top so when they harden I'll get the imprint from the plants without um, hopefully them sticking into the plaster too much that I can't remove them so we'll see how we go. Well I found um, the best way to do it is basically I just made four cuts in each of the corners of the container and then basically once it's dry I just draw, like I join them back together and then set the plaster in there and then when the plaster's hard I just pull them down and take out the the plaster. Um, so I just quickly just threw down an image on it just to see if it was a good size and it is. So now I can build up layers and textures and just create like a, a tile effect. Now this is the one that I just did with um, the leaves. So I haven't pulled them off yet so I thought I'd do that to show you um, how it looks. And so far it looks pretty good. I guess it's just getting it off. I mean brilliant, look at that. And you get the pattern from the leaves. And just let that harden. And then you can just run like a roller over it with paint. So it leaves all the, in what's not on the surface, it leaves it white and then all of the top rays, it could be like green or multicolours. So it's just a cool idea. I mean it's up to your imagination what you do, but experiment and try different things like this. So I haven't seen it before. And like I've taken it right to the edge too, which looks pretty, pretty neat as well. So there you go. So what I'm about to do now is take an old stencil of mine that I uh, don't use anymore and actually I've cut it so it fits in the in the tray and then I'm going to put plaster over the top and um, it's going to relieve, uh, leave a relief pattern once it's dry. So it's just another way of adding uh, texture and a uh, different effect to the actual tile. So I'm going to give that a go now. So I've been soaking uh, for, uh, leaves and flowers and stuff in hot water to get them really soft and pliable so you can put them actually in the mould flat. Um, so that's a good idea. I've just been checking my um, emails on my iPod because it just lets me know when I get an email and um, Dolores D made a comment I've heard if you spray um, a container with non-stick cooking spray first it will be easier to unmold well I've got this bacon it's called bacon and it's just basically sp uh, olive oil spray in a can so I've been spraying it into the molds and they do lift off easier but like I said what I found is if I've cut the corners I can just peel them back so I find that that way easier as well um, <clears throat> another email I got was Got a question from Buns11. Um, okay, I'm surprised you didn't have to put powder or grease in the mould. Well, I guess because I'm peeling it back, I don't really have to, but um, I guess it's a good idea to um, have grease or some sort of um, stuff that'll help it out. Um, you had a question where do you clean out things like the mixing pan? I'm always worried about gesso and acrylic mediums clogging up my bathroom drain. But it's the drain closest to where I'm painting. If I were doing plaster, I think I'd have to, to do it outside. Well, I have a drain here that um, this drain actually goes down to the cow shed and goes into where all the shit goes. 
And basically what happens with that is it all gets mixed together and um, in the summer it gets sprayed out on the grass and decomposes. So that's where that goes. Um, <clears throat> Nola GB said, um, do you have to put any primer gesso on the plaster pieces before you spray paint or use other acrylics? What I've found in the past is I've actually just put down the spray paints directly onto the plaster um, but I've also used a um, like a varnish um, let me just quickly find it okay this is what I use it's a medium gloss varnish and I use that directly onto the tile sometimes before but a lot of times after I've actually done the done the painting or the artwork um, because what you find is with plaster it's very powdery and that um, to stop that powder from coming off you do have to put a sealer on it so yeah so just stick some sealer on it either before or after or well, definitely after and um, you'll find that you don't get that powdery effect and it makes it more uh, solid as well uh, I think that was about it really just check Yep, that's it. So just in the course of um, about an hour all up, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles and just experimented by using a pattern, using leaves from a flower, using like a fern as well and a different type of leaf. Um, yeah, and I've got blank one, three blank ones. So next part will be um, actually taking them and transforming them into works of art. That's the plan anyway. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness.